there is a scripture about Naaman when he got healed of leprosy. And I'm saying, is there a college student in here? Stand up and carry a cross for all the college students. I want to give you this. Listen to this. Just grab that cross right there. There's a story in 2 Kings about Naaman and how that he got healed of leprosy. How many of you remember he dipped seven times? Check this out. The Bible said that after he got healed, he went and loaded down his mules with bags of dirt from the river that he got cleansed in and took them back to Syria. And he prayed and he said, now God, I want to ask you a question. I just got saved. I just got washed. I just got cleansed. And now I got to go back to a heathen place, Syria. They don't worship God. They burn their babies in the fire. And God, I wish I could stay at forward all the time. I wish I could stay in church all the time. But since I, I can and I got to go back to school where they're going to be partying, where they're going to be drinking, where they're going to be doing everything. He said, can I load up some bags of mud from the Jordan River and take it back with me? And when I get over there, if I take some of that mud and I sprinkle it on the ground and I build an altar, will you hear my prayers and be with me? And God said, you load you down some mud in bags. And you take it wherever you're going and it doesn't matter what they're doing when you get there. If you will honor me, I'll turn it into holy ground. Wherever you go, I'm going to be with you in the college dorm, down the halls of the high school, wherever you go. It doesn't just, some of you are going back to a home where you're the only Christian. Pick up your cross and take it back. And God says, I'll turn it into holy ground. Because if you bear the cross, he says, I can win your family through you. Thank you. Take that cross back in a bag. One of you take the cross and you get the bag of mud. Give them a big hand.